Whoa, is it... Is it that time of the month where I answer questions? It... It, it is? Oh, then I guess I gotta answer some questions. Howdy hey, it's the August Q&A. Every month I go ahead and answer some questions that you guys leave behind in the previous month's Q&A. Since last month was July, I'll pull questions from there and bring them over to August. If you wanna ask some questions of your own, all you gotta do is leave them in the comments below. But let's get started. I'm sure we got some great ones to start off here. Vic, what are Inklings? A squid, or a kid, or a squid, or a kid, or a squid, or a kid, or oh. Okay, okay, maybe maybe not that question. Let's let's try a different one. <laughs> John says, if you were to get 10 million subs out of nowhere, what would you do? Uh, I could convert my channel immediately to a vlog channel where I just post 15 second videos of my cats. Then I win, right? Don't worry, I won't. Hi, Tippy. Hi, Tippy. Oh, hi, Tippy. Good boy. Good boy, are you happy that I'm inside now? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, I love you so much. Too Easy Dragon says, Presuming you have no internet, what five games would you take with you to a deserted island? <laughs> well, honestly, Splatoon isn't very good <laughs> if you don't have internet access. So I think I'd probably end up taking, like, my Switch and my GameCube? And then I'd be like, okay, okay, okay. So I gotta have games that I really like that'll last me a long time so I don't get bored on this deserted island that I hopefully get to leave eventually. So let's go with Kirby Air Ride because that is the number one game that exists, of course. They yeah, got some Melee, gotta play some Melee. Or maybe you wanna bring the newer Smash. So one of those two, one of those, one of those Smashes, whichever one is more available. I think then I'd bring Animal Crossing, because I could just edit my island forever. <laughs> and you know what? It would it would just be like it just be like I'm on the island already, you know? A deserted island on a deserted island. Winning! I'd bring Pokemon, because I can just spend a ton of time like shiny hunting and just waste a ton of time that way. And then I think to round it out, I'd bring one more GameCube game, like Luigi's Mansion. And then I think we'd be set. I think that'd be good right there. And Sango asks, have you ever had a dream that you, um, you had, you were, you, you could, you'll do, you'll, you once, you, you could do so, uh, you'll, you'll do, you could, you, you want, you want them to do you so much, you could do anything? Yes. AAA Studios asks, if you could add one new animal species to Animal Crossing or the next game, what would it be? I think that Nintendo should go out of their comfort zone and just put in a bug. Put in a bug. Give us like a spider villager. Or like give us like a praying mantis. You know how cute like a like a praying mantis would be? You know how many different colors you could pull off with like a praying mantis? Give us a bug. Just do it. Don't be scared, Nintendo. People will like it. I promise. Loop says, what is an animal you want to see in real life? Uh, this isn't an animal, but I really want to see like carnivorous plants. When I was in college, we took a trip to go to like the Pine Barrens, which is on Long Island, and like they were there, but we couldn't go because it rained. So we had to go home, disappointed and sad. <laughs> I want to go back sometime and see those pitcher plants, man. I used to own a Venus flytrap, but it died a few years ago. So I've been carnivorous plant free for longer than I'd like. Hey, Pebble. I love you. I love you, baby girl. <sighs> there you go. There's some pebbles loving. Yes. Mr. Cool says, how many questions should I ask? <gasps> I mean, you already asked one, so you did it. Good job. Myth asks, do you prefer bagel bites or DiGiorno? I've actually never had bagel bites because I'm, I'm more of like a bagel person. If I have to choose between bagel bites and a bagel, I'm always going to pick a bagel. I'll say bagel bites because I feel like they'd probably be better. Cece asks, what is your best childhood memory? Ah, uh, so when I was young, my friends and I really, really, really liked Pokemon. <laughs> and, and like, we had like, we had like role playable OCs that we put into like this whole like big expansive universe that my sister and I expanded online. But uh, my character in particular was a Cyndaquil. And like, to undo the fact that Cyndaquils are weak to water, I guess I didn't care about all the other weaknesses. I just cared about the water one. I, I like gave my Cyndaquil OC like, some state-of-the-art like futuristic like tech suit that could let her like swim like it had like little jetpacks or whatever and I was like yes this is perfect so we'd roleplay but I would be this cynical with like this extra thing 
<laughs> and I remember I wrote, I wrote like cringy fan fiction for her. I like I don't know where the where the fan fictions went. They've been like lost in the times. But I was like writing those fan fictions up through like seventh grade. I remember being in like gym and like writing them on the bleachers. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> And while it's not like a best memory, it's just one that sticks with me because I'm like, oh yeah, I, I did that, huh? <laughs> so that's that. Can I do more cooking guides? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if I find a funny reason to do more cooking videos, I'd be down to do more silly cooking shenanigans. Ironwalk asks, what is your favorite kind of cookie? And now this is a loaded question because like there are a lot of really good cookies out there. I'm not really a fan of like raw cookie dough. But I enjoy, like, cookies that are overly sweet, like white chocolate chip macadamia nut, Ooh. But I think my favorite type of cookie has, like, the texture of cookie dough, but isn't cookie dough. So it's really, like, oatmeal raisin. I think they're my favorite. Ricardo asks, what kind of person was I in college? And I, I, I did a bit in college, I could tell you that much. I was kind of the person, like, I would never skip class. I was not a class skipper. But I was somebody who would sometimes go to class. And then, uh, you know, and just write down notes while also multitasking and looking at something else on my laptop. <laughs> but I was always taking my notes, and that's what's important. I got better as time went on at actually studying before exams went on. Because I went into college with, like, no idea how to properly study. And I would just study, like, and cram the last, like, night before. And it, it, it was the worst. It was the worst. So if you're going into college, study in advance. Do not wait until the last day. It ends bad. Ben asks, Vic, do you think that existing is neat? I'll say yes, because then how can I meet people like you? Derp says, question, how did you feel when you got your first 100 subscribers? Well, uh, I got most of my first 100 subscribers from the, uh, <laughs> that hacker in a squid party video that no longer exists. I would say that, like, it was really crazy when I, like, came back to the channel after taking a break because of graduate school, like, starting up. I think I had, like, 150-ish when I actually started streaming, and I was like, Wait, where do all these people come from? I, I guess I gotta make content now. And, and it worked out because now I hear I'm here doing this. I had no intention of really being a content creator. I just wanted to stream for funsies. But things kind of blew out of proportion really fast, and I've grown to really love it. So, thank you for supporting me, along with anybody else who's listening to this question being answered right now. Hey, Wolfpack says, any tips for getting into a first job? I've been applying, but I haven't gotten any responses yet. Well, right now is a really weird time for the economy, and I hope that, because it's been four weeks since he answered this question, that hopefully you found a job by now. What you want to do is you want to make sure that on your resume, when you are telling the things that you've done, like your accomplishments, you know, like volunteer work you've done, you make sure that you shape the explanation of what you did so it sounds like it could be applicable to your job. Like, you could say, oh yeah, I volunteered at a local store, and I helped them out. Or you could say, I volunteered at a local store and I was handling money and I was working with customers and communicating with the, uh, the community or something. <laughs> Don't write it like that. Don't write communicating with the community or something. That's not going to work. But if you're careful about what you say, you can definitely find a job. Because what job hiring folks are looking for is looking for people who are willing to explain themselves even before they walk in. A resume is important and you need to be able to show what you know. Fizzle says, Q&A time, baby. How am I doing? I am doing good. I mean, I'm recording these questions right now, sitting in my air-conditioned basement. Life is nice. And you know what's nicer? Uh, pink ink. Before I had my inkling as my, uh, my standout purple, I actually used to have my inkling as pink. When I, uh, got over to Splatoon 2, I kind of changed my mind and I decided, hey, why not purple inkling instead? And we never changed since. I've always kept the purple and I've been really happy about it. Toon Lank says, here's a good question. How do I get into the next Q&A? <gasps> You're doing it right now, yo! Richie asks, how did you get into Splatoon? Actually, Splatoon was something that me and my parents bought for my sister's birthday. She was actually the first one that got into it and not me. I started watching competitive Splatoon. I started watching Splatoon on people's Twitch streams. Ironically, I didn't actually watch a lot of YouTube Splatoon at first. I watched like Whitehawk. I, I watched like a little bit of V N and J. But in reality, I was a lot on Twitch. I like slowly moved out to YouTube and it's kind of funny that I became a YouTuber seeing as I actually preferred Twitch Splatoon first, but both communities are really good places. And I'm really happy that I got a like taste of both before I ended up settling down here. Splatoon has obviously become really important to my life, but it's always just been a thing that I can do instead of having to do schoolwork, instead of having to do things related to my job. 
It's a great way to release energy, and the community is so great that I'm just happy to be here. Trevor Yan says, what is your favorite close range weapon to use other than the machine? If we're talking really close range, I really like the 52 gal. The 52 gal is just really good at just sneaking up on people, getting that quick little pop pop, and then getting out of there. It's a really fun weapon. Honestly, if you haven't tried the 52, I'd say give it a shot or two. Eh. What is my favorite Netflix show? So right now I'm working on getting through Kipo and the Age of the Wonder Beasts, and it's really good. It's a it's like a DreamWorks animation TV show, I believe. It's a cartoon. I haven't watched enough of it yet, which is really sad. But I've watched the first few episodes, and it just looks really good. If you're looking for something to watch and you do have Netflix, I would give it a big recommend. JT asks, have you ever built a Lego set? Honestly, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so when I was really young, I had access to Legos. Like, I, 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 like, I know I had them. We had, like, a big, like fake fire truck like toy full of like I think I don't know if they were real Legos or off-brand Legos but we owned them and like I remember using them but I can't remember if we ever built anything with them or if they just were in the house or like what we do with them or even like where they are now I don't even know like did we throw them out did we donate them I, I just have zero memory of them I feel like I need to like <laughs> ask my family or something so I'll give you a hard I don't know but like Reading this question when I saw it, I was like, I, what? It, it, like, it like brought back a memory that I forgot about. <laughs> so maybe. Lego is cool though. And if you enjoy it, have fun. Who do you like more, Judd or Lil Judd? I think I like Judd more. I, I think I just love that he's just a big, like, cute, lazy cat. <laughs> like, I mean, he's putting in a lot of work, but you go over to the plaza and he's just sleeping there being good. I, I like Judd. He's good. He's my favorite. Lil Judd's cute, but Judd is cuter. Octo Thing asks, How much has Nintendo shaped your life growing up, or video games in general? Well, uh, a lot of the friends that I still am close to today from school are all people who enjoy video games. So I would say we probably became friends through a shared interest in video games. I know that my closest friend from like early elementary school, we only became friends because we were like, Ah, we both like Pokemon! Boo 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 boo! Because, like, Pokemon is just the best. These are the people that, uh, you know the aforementioned, uh, roleplay <laughs> question that I answered beforehand? Uh, that's the same thing. Same person. Great times. I only found out about Nintendo stuff on accident. And also, our parents had an old NES. Our parents kind of picked Pokemon and Nintendo and stuff to be my thing. Because they saw that we liked that thing early on. And they were like, okay, just, just keep pushing that. We had the kind of family that were like, oh, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I never owned an Xbox growing up. I didn't even realize that Xbox was like a big thing for a long time. I just wanted more games for my Nintendo GameCube, man. So yeah, Nintendo had full control. I had a, li a lot of Nintendo, a little bit of PlayStation, and a lot of love for video games. Wet Floor says, question, when's the answer? Right now. <laughs> Daz says, spicy pickles? Uh, no. I actually don't like those. I I've seen them in the store before. I like, I bought one once, but I really hate spicy food. So I don't know why I thought I'd like it. I didn't. I didn't at all. And a matching question that's asked is, uh, somebody asked about sweet pickles. And you know what? I'm gonna say yes. I say yes to sweet pickles. Uh, I love pickle relish. Put it in your burger. Put it on your plate. Eat it with a spoon. Just look the other way so you don't see me doing that, but shh. Squaggy says, for Splatoon 3, if you could add one major feature, what would you add? Honestly? Honestly? You mentioned the level creator in the list there, Squaggies, and I'd be so down. Like, <laughs> could you imagine if people could just make whatever maps they want? Like, you see people, what people do with Smash. If you had a 3D level creator, people would put, like, tens, hundreds of hours into making stages. I'm sure that none of them would be viable, but they'd be so good. I'd be so down. You kidding me? People would make stages that probably would be, like, super easy to break so you could, like, glitch through the corners and do dumb things. I'd be so down. Like, imagine if, like, they let you, like, import, like, blender models or something. How crazy people could get with it? It could be so good. 
I'd be so down for a level creator, I think. Wither asks, Has anything happened in your life that you'll never forget other than the bank incident? So, the bank incident, for those that don't know, is basically a, um, a series of events that I had in a dream that ended up with me being at a chase bank where everyone was inklings. Fun times. But, uh, <laughs> so, when I was in seventh grade, we went on a trip to Boston. And... I, up to this point, had been pretty sheltered. I really didn't go out too much besides to hang out with friends on occasion or, like, go hang out with family. So this is my first time, like, on my own. My parents gave me money. I had the power to do whatever I wanted. So I spent a majority of the money that my family gave me on candy. Uh, immediately had a sugar crash at a hard rock cafe and had the opposite of the time of my life. <laughs> my friends won't let me live that one down. I remember we had to, like, go to a party after we went to the cafe, and I remember I just, I, I had zero focus. We're all like 12 years old, I'm like on the table, just gone. <laughs> great, great first school trip for Rick Beyond Gaming. <laughs> Aiden says, if someone said, hippity hoppity, your channel name is now my property, what would you rename your channel to? I'd be Vikavolt, but like, Vic, so Vikavolt. <laughs> I actually changed my name to Vikavolt for like a week back when my channel was still really, really, really small, but I kind of hated it. <laughs> so I changed it back pretty fast. But like, it, it was out there. All I did was take Vikavolt and I put another K in there. And I was like, yep, that's my name now. Carl says, would you want voice acting in Splatoon 3? And honestly, I feel like Splatoon is one of those games that actually does better without voice acting than with. So I would say no. I'm kind of cool with it just being the way it is. I don't know, if I opened up Splatoon, and instead of getting like, I got like, Pearl being like, hey sisters! It would like, kind of, it would kind of be like, really odd. Because I'm kind of used to them having their own language. I kind of got used to it. It's like, comforting almost in a way. I wouldn't hate it, but it would take some time to get used to, I think. <gasps> a question to segue to the end of the Q&A? Josh bought a Borg asks, oh wait, I gotta, I, I gotta fix this because they asked upside down. How do I ask a question for the Q&A? Well, Josh bought a Borg. If you want to ask a question for next month's Q&A, that would be September. Hopefully that one will come out on time, <laughs> unlike this one. <laughs> It should be on the last Thursday of the month, and then you'll be able to see your question maybe get answered. And if it doesn't, you can ask it again. Feel free to keep asking your question, and I'll hopefully get to them in time. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed another lovely Q&A. I have a lot of fun doing these. I like just being able to ramble about my feelings and talk about old stories. They're really fun for me, and I'm happy to keep doing these. So I'll see you later. If you want to watch some other content, <gasps> The end screen is gonna come up, and then you can click on another video! Whoa, we're, we're going right now! Oh, I guess I'll have to see you guys later, I think the video's over! All you gotta do is you leave it in the comments below! If you wanna ask a question for- oh, I hit the mic. 